Hello, my friends, and welcome to this glorious piece of 1993 gaming. Now, you might be wondering why I'm starting a static image. Uh, you'll see why in a minute. Um, but yeah, this week we're going to be playing uh, the unofficial Starflight 3. This is supposed to be Starflight 3, but because dealings with EA apparently didn't work out, they renamed it Protostar, War for the Frontier. And you'll see it has a lot of similarities to Starflight in a lot of ways. So let's take a look. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Boink. Oh, the frontier. Yeah. Now, um, I've got this going at 15,000 cycles, but it still stutters a bit. And I think it still stutters a bit because this is my CD copy. This is actually running off a CD. Like, I own a physical copy of this. This, that's the actual manual. It's not just a manual, it's a full-blown strategy guide that tells me where everything is. And I'm going to try not to use that, but it's so tempting. Like, you can read, like, like Starflight, you can register planets in this game and you get money for it. I've got a page open right here that tells me where all of them are. Which kind of isn't fair. It's just how I bought it. I got it off eBay a little while back because I lost my copy ages ago. And so, yeah, this is the manual plus a full-blown hint guide. Uh, and such. So I'm going to try not to use the hint guide portion. Uh, so yeah, let's put in my name. Now, yeah, this is why I couldn't just start. Like, you know, a lot of games, they star in the main menu with a nice, you know, screen and whatnot. You know, a nice title. Uh, that's where I usually like to start these things. But since this one doesn't, it jumps right into this kind of put your name in, sir, screen. Then, um... <clears throat> I'm sorry, I have a tiny cough today. Then, uh, yeah, I didn't want to start right here. Because that'd be a little weird. So let's put in my name. Oh, ah, ah, oh, oh. I always use my name. Immersion. Uh, boink. Yeah, I don't know why it's, it's stuttering. It's really frustrating. And there doesn't seem to be a thing I can do about it. When it doesn't stutter, it moves pretty well. I might be moving a little too fast now. Yeah, hear that? There's, I mean, I guess I could download a copy, but I wanted to use my copy since I own it. All right, so that's your boss. Oh, I forget his name. But uh, you're basically, oh, well, they'll explain it, but basically I'm an undercover agent meant to bring uh, the four main uh, races together in this sector, kind of like Millennia a little bit, uh, to, to uh, fight against the Skeech. So let's, uh, <laughs> now for the difficult part of your assignment, I'm not reading all this. Yeah, the, so the Skeech are the big enemies of this game. Kind of like the Ulek were in Starflight. Actively seek relations. Four sentient species of the local frontier. Yep, and they're all a bit different. The Gerberant, the Kainik, Duresta, and Vantu. We have to ally these guys. Yep, see, I, this is what I said earlier, but, you know, now you get to actually read it. And I can't turn this music off, so... Sorry. At least I don't think I can. Oh, yeah, there's a sound to turn off. All, there's there's an option to turn off all sound. But I don't want to do that. Precisely. <sighs> yeah, so I'm really... I'm going to be acting like... My front is that I'm working for this corporation to explore and make money. But in reality, I'm an undercover protostar agent.
This music kills me. Do you have any questions? So yeah, New Friend is the corporation you quote unquote work for. <clears throat> Okay. Exclusive trade agreements arrangements. Hmm? We can't rely on our current constituents. Oh no. Yeah, I gotta make enough money to help pay these guys every day. Yeah, I wanna get crew members. Thank you, sir. Yeah, see, it stutters. It's, it's kind of annoying and there doesn't seem to be a thing I can do about it. Maybe if I got a download version uh, it'd be better, but I want to use my version. So there are different parts to uh, every base. There are like I think three big bases here in this in this sector of space. So here's the communication thing we we're just looking at. I think this is the bar. Yeah, this is the bar. And so you get to drink from your glass. Ooh, it even warbles. And there's a band. And if someone wants to talk to you, maybe join your crew, maybe give you some information, they'll be sitting right there. And if you want to leave, yeah, you might not know this, but you got to actually, like, take your card if you want to leave, which is a little weird. Let's see. And this... New front services. Yeah, this is where you uh, sell goods that you have um, found, like minerals and life forms. But this is also where you buy fuel. So I'm going to buy 40 units of fuel because unlike Starflight, if you recall, where um, Kitty, I don't know if you can hear that. My cat is meowing. Kitty. Um, oh, come here. What is up with you? You want to play too? Um... Unlike Starflight, where if you recall your um, terrain vehicle used uh, a different fuel source than your ship did, and you didn't use fuel when you were in a system, you use fuel freaking everywhere here. Like, when you're flying around the planet, when you're flying around the system, you use the same pool of fuel for everything. Even firing weapons cost fuel. So you gotta have a good chunk of it. So I'm gonna buy a bunch right now so I have a good chunk of fuel I have nothing to sell so we're gonna leave there so that's the exchange center here <clears throat> oh this is like the medical area slash uh, I forget what these do ah uh, oh I see that's the uh, that's the options menu okay um yeah, so you can get treatment for your crew. You do have to hire a crew eventually. You can subsist on you and your little... Well, you'll meet Abe in a minute. But you can subsist with the two of you for the early days. But you eventually need a crew. Uh, so right now we're just going to leave. We're not even going to play with the library. Thank you. His face looks like a dog. And now here we have where... Um, geez. This is Frontier Craft. <laughs> I didn't even need to... Okay. And this is a guy, and you can buy you can buy stuff here for your ship. You can sell stuff here for your ship. Uh, uh. So yeah, this guy apparently doesn't want to work for me. But you can ask him all sorts of questions. We're not going to do that right now. 
Uh, we're basically just gonna leave. So that's all for now. Thank you. Yeah, you actually gotta wait for all this stuff. So then, let's see. Then this is where we leave. Wow. Woo! Check out those 1993 graphics. Oh my god. All right. This is Abe. Say hello to Abe. Hello, Abe. Automated Being Evolution 440. Director Hawking is... That's the guy. That's your boss. Sign me to assist me with your mission. That text is kind of hard to read on that background. Can I just call you Abe? As you wish. What are you... Dread Pirate Roberts now? Wesley? Ah! Copy protection, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> you must correctly identify a sentient faction from your manual to access your vessels. Okay. Uh, so I actually have to go through the manual and find that symbol somewhere. Ah! So that is the Vantu. I have to, have to type that whole thing out? That was correct. Okay, good. 1993 copy protection, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So this is the system map. As you can see, all there here is all there is here is uh, Starbase. So there are various stations. This is the uh, medical station. Uh, this is the uh, I think it's a science station, which can't really do anything right now. That's the navigation station with the sector map. This is the communication station. You can actually talk to your crew, which is kind of neat. Uh, this is engineering. You know, we can't really do anything with that right now. And this is weapons. And there are also keyboard shortcuts for all those, which are somewhere. Where are those? Oh, there we go. So navigation. Yep. Contact. Not communications. Contact. Excuse me. So you fly your ship with the mouse and the keyboard. Accelerate and decelerate. It's a little weird and complicated. But we are going to... Uh, we're going to travel to a nearby sector and see if there are any planets there that might be worth our time. Nope, we're going to go there. <coughs> Woohoo! Kachoink! Now, like I said, I've got all these locations and stuff in the manual here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, shit. So now I gotta accelerate and decelerate to shoot his ass. Yeah, I did not expect to get thrown into combat. So... Yeah, this is a good time. And like I said, all of those... Ah! See, using those weapons uses fuel. Come on! Yeah, see, I'm controlling this with the mouse, and I right-click to change weapons, which is really weird. Okay. Damn it. This is... And the radar is not the easiest thing in the world to read. Come on, die already! Yes, this is not, this is not easy. This is not the easiest thing in the world.
Damn it. Yeah, I can't go too fast. Damn it. Yeah, this radar is hard to read. I was not expecting to be put into combat so soon. Dang it. Why aren't they dead? <laughs> Damn, they're all red and stuff. Why aren't they dead? Damn, this is not easy. Yeah, apparently I only have one unit of speed. <sighs> Why aren't you dead? I'm wasting fuel on you, assholes. So wasting fuel on you. So wasting fuel on you pricks. Ah! Wow, that was neat. I could see the shots missing me. Come on, come on. Oh, really? Come on. I did not expect to take two on at once. This is not really fair. Whoa. Okay, one down. And I, if, if I'm lucky, I get to loot him for stuff. No, no, no. You know, it'd be nice if the debris wasn't on the monitor. Like on the radar, you know? I want to just, that's the debris. Oh God, where's the other guy? Jesus Christ. It's gonna cost an arm and a leg to get all this fixed. Die already, jeez. I was not planning this folks, I apologize. Where are you going? Damn it. Oh, I almost exited. You got to right click to switch weapons, which is really kind of infuriating in the middle of uh, doing and trying to do all, trying to do everything here. Okay, no, that, this is so stupid. Damn it, damn it. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. Damn, this is so, this combat is ridiculous, you guys. I mean, I guess you get used to it. I must have gotten used to it because I finished this game. Back in the day, I actually finished this game. Where are you? Why couldn't I shoot? Why couldn't I shoot? That is really infuriating. Come back here. Where are you? I don't know how to read this radar. This radar is stupid. Come on, blow up already. Oh my God, this is so ridiculous. Okay, come on, come on, blow up. Come back. I 
I can't believe I missed like three times. That is so infuriating. Come back. There we go. Yeah, this acceleration and deceleration thing is redonkulous, my friends. Absolutely redonkulous. Where are you? Damn. I think he's almost dead. <laughs> Where are you, buddy? Really? <sighs> this is like my biggest weapon. Well, my second biggest. The other one is that drone, but that uses like 10 units of fuel just to launch. Come on. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. 1993, ladies and gentlemen, let's make everything harder. Because there are fewer games to play, so you're going to spend longer playing this one, right? That's the hope, I guess. Where are you going? Where are you going, buddy? Did he leave? I think he left. I think he left. Where's the debris? Because I can do something with the debris. I think. Where's the debris? God damn it. Okay, I guess that's distance. I guess he left? So, since there's debris there, I can retrieve its cargo. Oh, and there's titanium and aluminum which I could sell. So, I guess that ship left. I guess that other ship ran away. Oh, good. I think I have to leave that. That um. So that's a top-down radar. That's what was confusing me. I think, and I think. So I guess when it's in front of you, it's not dimmed. I th I read the manual and I still don't get it. Uh, hang on. So let's see. Engineering. No. 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 Which one's engineering? I think it's that one. Okay. Direct repairs. Oh, is everything repaired already? Oh, wow. So, let's head toward this planet. And see how it uses fuel already? See how it already uses fuel? Oh, my God. I'm, I'm going to be lucky to have enough fuel to get back to base at this point. But come on, let's go scan this planet. Let's take a look at it. Come on. There we go. All right. So now we could do uh, active weather, negligible materials. That's kind of sad. We're going to go down anyway. And you do that by launching a surface scan. And then what's well, a kind of high area? Uh, all right, right there. Then you launch. That's our little explorer dude. It's like the ATV in um, in uh, Starflight, but in a first-person mode. And I'm flying around, flying around. See, I'm flying around. That's pretty cool. That's a grabber. See how the cursor changed? 
but you use the same amount of fuel, which is ridiculous. So we are just gonna, we're gonna head back. Yeah, return to orbit, because there's nothing here. There's nothing here. And you gotta look at that. You gotta go through that little scene every time. You can't turn those off. So let's leave orbit. Exit orbit. Let's check out this other planet. And I guess after that, we'll check out that ship. All right, what's science? Oh, S, how convenient. Scarce, see, not that much in terms of minerals. All right, there's no point in going down. Navigation. See, there's no way to, um, is there, oh, so I, can I do that? Oh, I can. Let's, now is this guy going to shoot me? He's just sitting there. Or can I talk to him? Let's see if I can talk to this. Um, what, is that another New Front ship? Initiate contact. Oh, hello. I'm just Brian, not Commander Brian or anything, just Brian. So like Starflight, you have different ways you can talk to people. Employ the most experience. Assign duties according to their skill proficiency. Respect good suggestions from your crew. Yeah, all right, I'm done. You're just sitting here. You're not even doing anything. Okay. Uh, all right. Sure. I guess I can read that radar now, I guess. Well, at least we did repairs. Okay. Sector map. Now, how far until we get back to base? I mean, 12 units of fuel. So we could check out at least one more system, I think, before heading back. Let's go. Let's see if we find anything. Whoa, that's a lot of planets. Oh, we're, we're not the best on fuel, though. Let's just check one of these right now. Bubola? 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 Is that the planet Bubola? Arctic, mild, generous minerals. Well, we got to go down for that. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, oh, yeah, surface scan. That's exactly what we want. So let's pick a kind of a, oh yeah, there we go, kind of a higher area. Because I don't know why, I think in these games, more mountainy areas mean more minerals. I'm not sure why, but sure. So let's see what happens. Oh, there's some minerals. Are, what is that? All right, well, uh, see that gray stuff? That's, that's a mineral right there on the radar. And so I get to fly over it. I'm going to stop, and then I'm going to do, going to suck it up, and then we're going to go over here to these minerals, and once you get right over them, apparently it's some kind of life form. Well, we can sell it. That's what matters. And then we got some more minerals over here. I don't know how much iron costs, but all right. So let's see what we got over here. Yeah, quite a bit of minerals. Oh, more iron. You know, well, you know, it's gonna, you know, it'll be worth something. I think. And there's a ship over there. I'm not sure if we can communicate with them or not. 
But that's okay. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Let's, okay, let's get these last two things here. And then we're going to head back to base. Oh, three, th three I guess, these last two things here. Because we got to head back to base. Wow, whoa, wait a minute. That's a life form. I think. Oh, more another life form. So, yeah, you can find unknown life forms. And, uh... You can register them, and then... Whoa! So I think that's also a life form, yeah. Oh, because the map things are different. So that's also a life form. And then that should also be a life form. And then that thing to our, like, 7 o'clock, which I'm going to go back for, that was minerals. So we got some life forms now. And we should be heading for some minerals. If we don't see it soon, I'm just going to head back. Oh, there, oh, there it is. So that's a tiny little M, I think that is. Which should be, which should be, or is that a city? Well, oh, it's a city. Those little X's are minerals. Well, let's take a look, see if we can. Uh... Apparently not. Approach site. Ooh. This is a trade establishment. Do you want something? Oh. Uh, I want to purchase goods. Oh, wow. I don't know what any of these do. And apparently these are unknown. Hey, I can buy fuel here. Um... Give me 30 units of fuel, please. Just to be on the safe side. I want to sell goods. Okay, I've got the cerium. Uh, I'm going to suggest a price of 55 credits apiece. Okay, fine, buddy. 52. Uh, so I guess 21. So, hey, that's, that's some money in my pocket. And then we're going to sell a bunch of iron. I'm not going to haggle with you, sir, since you seem very set in your ways. Oh, wow, 52 units of iron, which was right outside your city. But that's okay. So, hey, we're kind of back up to where we were after buying some more fuel. That's handy. Uh, huh. So I think these guys, I think these guys are the Durestra. Yeah, the Durestra. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I hope I didn't offend you. That's pretty funny. Well, now we have more fuel, so we can do some more mining. Yeah, I think we'll stop here for the time being. We're going to do a little more mining for the next mission, so for the next session. So thank you for watching, you guys. Uh, that was a really early taste of combat. I did not plan that at all, but uh, it was kind of fun. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you for the next entry.